Hello builders, welcome to Pocket Founder's second developer update. Today we're going to be talking about different features that have been introduced into the app with the 1.0.31 update, as well as talking a little bit about some of the things that were going on behind the scenes, some infrastructural things. A little bit more boring, so I'm going to front load all of the user and customer uh, centric stuff to the start of the video and to the end we can get more into some of the engineering nitty-gritty more of a vlog style as I talk through some of the stuff some of the challenges uh, that I went through this week you know um, if you'd like to stay on and watch that totally cool if you just want to hang on to see um, you know what new changes have come to the app I front-loaded it uh, to the start of the video so let's get into it thanks all right, so we're jumping into the app to talk about some new features. You can probably already see that we've gotten a bit of a facelift. Um, I'm noticing because uh, there's always a lag between what's in production versus um, uh, what is currently in development. So when I look at this, you know, there's a lot of things that are really old uh, that are still there that uh, I've either removed or there are things that I've added um, that aren't there. So uh, I kind of need, <laughs> needed a little bit of a moment there to kind of catch up with things. But anyways, to talk about some of the features, so obviously right off the bat, uh, when you look at it, everything's been kind of segmented into um, different menu screens right off the bat. So um, that's not to say that um, when you log in, uh, it's going to go to these menus right away. So, in fact, uh, just going back to the goals, milestones, and task screens, GMT, which I've relabeled in newer versions goals, uh, because I think that's probably the central thing, and GMT was not clear to people what that necessarily was. I'll get that to catch on one day. Um, but uh, in the meanwhile, you know, just labeling it as goals, because it's kind of just goals, uh, goal planning, um, you know, simplifying it, making it easier on people, that's what I'm in the... Um, that's what I'm working towards. So, uh, you know, if you have a screen here, right, and uh, I'm not going to close the app, but uh, just pretend like we're going from here to here, you can see that it's saved. So whatever you leave off on, um, it's going to go there. You can obviously go back to the planning screen with the press on the top left, or you can hit uh, one of the menu options on the bottom. It'll take you back to the menu. So, you know, you can look at here. There's another menu screen with some options of some things that are going to be coming down down the pipeline. None of these are finished, um, and I actually found a couple of crashes and some user testing with some of this. So uh, logging to be fixed and to be built out more into the future. Um, but the the main basics is now the goals, milestones, and tasks, um, you know, uh, has been put as one amongst a bunch of things that are in planning. The to-do list, and uh, I'm changing it from calling it the swipe tab to being a task stack. Um, doesn't really roll off the tongue, so I'm still going to be word chopping that. Uh, but, um, you know, it's it's this thing. So um, I actually call it card stack here. Uh, I think I changed it in the other version. But card stack, task stack, I, I don't know. I just feel like this is a stack of stuff that you're going to be working through. Um, but uh, I'm probably going to be trying to come up with a different name. Um, the connecting screen, so that little QR code there, uh, you can set it up with your social media handles, so it makes it a little easier for you to be able to link to people, so um, as you add your various social media handles, um, so like in the case of like LinkedIn, you know, uh, George Q. Lee, that's mine, uh, newer versions, I've gotten rid of the autocomplete, so there's none of that business. Uh, set this one as default. So if you were to scan uh, the QR code before, by default it actually goes to the Poke Founder website. Um, but now in this case, if you scanned the QR code there, uh, it should t take you to my LinkedIn. Um, and you know you can access a bigger version there if your phones are having difficulty with it. Um, I tested it out on a iPhone 11 S, which is mine. Uh, and a iPhone 6s, uh, or sorry, it's mine. Both are mine. <laughs> uh, the 11, the 11s is the phone, my day-to-day -day phone. So that's the one that I'm usually testing with, and it usually works with that. Um, a 6s is like my old phone. Uh, so I tested it with that, and the 6s has some issues with 
small QR codes. So um, wondering if that's a camera resolution issue. Um, but uh, it, it, it it eventually gets it. You just have to zoom in really closer, you know, uh, make it a little bigger. So there's this option here uh, in case you have run into some issues. But this also lets you have multiple social media codes. So you can just pop one open as needed. Um, there are more stuff coming soon. I won't really go into that um, in this update because they're they're not built. Um, and so yeah, um, that's pretty much the changes for this last week. A lot of it was infrastructural. Um, so just for this little feature update, keeping it short for everyone. Uh, the main thing is that these things have been segmented into menu screens between the planning, the working, and the connecting. Something that's coming into the future um, that I'm working on is that there's going to be a uh, start button in the top right corner uh, on the header to the right of the header uh, with the little uh, cog head guy uh, there. Um, you know, to the right of that little planning above the line, uh, there's a little start button. And when you hit the start button, it basically go through kind of a more walkthrough experience of uh, looking at your goals, milestones, and tasks, reviewing the progress uh, between the last time you logged into the app uh, to now, um, whether or not these things are still relevant, are there any things that need to be uh, added into the future, uh, that type of thing. Um, and hopefully that will coincide with the launch of events, which are... Um, on one hand, internal meetings, and on the other hand, uh, any external events that uh, you would like to host for your company or, you know, are, are uh, looking to be a part of. Um, and so if you're going to an event and there are particular things that you're looking from it, if you go to an, uh, an investor networking event, you know, we'll probably have an investor CRM uh, that's connected with the Founder Dex uh, feature that's coming in the future. Um, to kind of track through and make sure that uh, any follow-ups that you're doing, you're able to keep on top of it in a CRM-like format that you would do with customers, just building it out for uh, investors, mentors, other founder friends for um, different follow-ups that might be needed. So yeah, that concludes uh, what's been done in this past week. Uh, I think everything looks a lot cleaner. The navigation is a lot more clearer. And this is kind of a foundational work week to allow for some of the more uh, experimental features um, uh, to come for, for users to be testing with and for me to get feedback on whatever is useful, you know, ultimately um this platform is is for the users right and so you know as long as it's useful for all of you uh i'm happy uh if you're happy so uh that concludes this portion so we're going to move on to uh kind of a vlog style so if you don't want to listen to me babble about some technical rocks that i've hit and some kind of startup -y type discussion about uh some of the rocks that I faced, uh, you know, some low points, but also some of the high points of running the startup, uh, pocket founder. It's been fun, but, uh, there's, there's definitely been some, uh, low points this last week. So, um, we're going to be talking about that, but if you're not interested in that, um, thank you so much for watching this developer update and until next week. Thank you.